Ahoy and welcome to this narrowboat adventure. Today I'm going to be telling you all about how spring has sprung in my garden and all the wonderful gardening things I've done. So we've got a bunch of littler pots so I'll tell you about them quickly first and then we'll get on to the big guns. So we have a herb garden now at the front of the boat and so we've got rosemary and mint and lavender there. We've also got chives but they're elsewhere they wouldn't quite fit. We of course still have the Christmas tree um, I've just planted some seeds to attract bees uh, with lovely purple flowers as I believe they can see those the best. I've also planted a small pot of um, uh, lettuce leaves and I've got some rocket already growing and then we get onto the big guns. So I have built a wonderful self-watering planter. Last year I couldn't um, get our well, I couldn't water the plants quick yes, enough sir. essentially. So I've taken two big pallets and I've taken all the middle uh, wood slats out and I've put in a um, waterproof liner. And then in the bottom of that, I've put loads of different bits of recycling. All of mine I've used just like plastic pots and bottles and things. And I've put loads of holes in them and that's gonna create a water reservoir at the bottom. I've got a pipe going in the side is an overflow and then I've got a pipe going up the side on the other side uh, where I'll fill the water up then I've got a liner that's actually uh, porous so that roots can grow through it um, but just to stop there being too much dirt in the um, in the water reservoir um, and so all the dirt goes in there and the plants go on top and the idea is that the plants roots grow down into the water reservoir they can take the water they need and then they become really strong plants because they've got downward growing roots and I don't have to water them quite as much um, so hopefully they live and grow very well. Um, the last few days we've had a bit of a problem with some animals, I'm not sure whether it was a cat or a naughty duck trying to maybe find a nesting spot, uh, kept digging up my plants though so I've taken some uh, wire coat hangers and I've taken them apart, drilled a couple of holes down the side of the um, uh, the top and I've basically made a little greenhouse for it so hopefully that will keep the pests off and also hopefully keep the plants nice and warm. Um, so I've used the same liner that I actually used to keep the dirt in. Um, as it said on the packet it's great for keeping pests off and keeping lots of heat in so hopefully that will work. Now today I have to say some big thank yous. Um, I have a new Patreon Eric thank you so much for sponsoring me on Patreon and a lovely big thank you to Jay Moran. So I've mentioned Jay in a video before and Jay approached me and he's helped me with a bit of the equipment that I needed. So thank you very much to Jay Moran for helping me out with the new tripod. It's a massive help and it's just really lovely. So if you see any lovely pan shots, you know you've got Jay Moran to thank for that. And uh, yeah, I'm looking to upgrade my audio soon. So I do apologize about the audio in the previous videos. Tell me in the comments, I'd love to hear all about the springing things you've done in your garden lately. And uh, oh, I should probably tell you what I've planted in my big planter. So I've got strawberries like last year because they did really well. I've got tumbling tomatoes. I'm hoping they do well this year because last year they did not. So I planted them much earlier. And I also went and bought a couple of seeds of small plants just because I was a bit nervous my seeds were very small uh, I do have seedlings of tomatoes but I want to make sure I get some tomatoes this year and I've also got some chilies this year uh, they did grow as well um, I used some of the coconut pods to plant the seeds in and they seem to work really well so we'll see how that goes thank you so much for watching if you'd like to join us again uh, you can subscribe down below and you can also follow me on Facebook this narrowboat adventure and uh, I post new videos on there I don't really post anything else on there so it shouldn't be too annoying and yeah thank you very much for watching bye